In this video, we want to take a look at the grading solver. Um, just an introductory look at the grading solver under the Site Layout tab. Um, before we do that, though, just um, just to show you this, some of the conce concept of this site has already been created. So I created a building pad, just using the building pad tool. And I've got a parking lot and another parking lot, just using the parking lot tool and I've created two little driveways using the driveway tool. So you know we've laid some site elements out there and you know if I look at the properties for example the building I can see you know the building footprint here its feature definition and grading is set to optimize so it's going to come up with the best um, finished floor, if you will, elevation, you know, try to lay that out in the right spot on the site at the right elevation to kind of balance the site. Um, currently, the finished floor elevation is not computed, but uh, once I run the grading solver, it'll give me a, a value there, what it determines to, it should be. So let's go ahead and open the grading solver. I'll click the icon. That will bring up this 3D viewer and it will immediately start to kind of compute. So you can kind of see it's computing some numbers here, cut fill numbers um, over on the right, lower right. But you can work with the viewer while it's doing that. So you can spin it around if you want. Take a look at, you know, the surface from all at different angles. You can zoom with your mouse wheel and zoom in on it as it computes. So you can kind of get an idea of, of what, what's going on and what it looks like. Um, you can see here it's finished. So that's stopped computing. Okay, so it's, it's finished. And let me bring that back up. And so it shows you in red, the cut, and blue is fill, and yellow was um, undisturbed. So let, let's uh, go ahead and, and close that and take a look at the building properties again. And so now it's come up where it says finished floor and over here in the lower left where my mouse is, 1294.8. A couple other things about the grading solver. Let me go ahead and run it again. Um, you can see here in the bottom of the of the viewer, you've got graded. So if I wanted to see, you know, original ground, that's the original ground. There's the graded back again. Um, you can turn triangles, edges, or, you know, the triangles off. For more shaded look, if you will. And same with the graded and the original. We'll show without the triangles. Um, you can turn off the surface so you just see the triangles. So that's fine. You can turn on boundaries and that will not show you the surface and cut and fill. It will show you the surface, um, of the boundaries of the site objects you've placed there. And then contours as well, so you can see. And you can see when the boundary's on, you can see the islands and so forth that were part of my parking lot. So kind of a nice little view. Um, and also behind, you know, what it does in the DGN, so I'll go ahead and close that, um, is it will create a surface in the DGN as well. So you can see that there. So. You can see it in the 3D view, because I've kind of rotated this view three to as a 3D view, and so I can see it in there as well. So that's the grading solver. And once I, if I wanted to have terrains created from this, then I would bump the phase, you know, up from concept conceptual to, um, you know, you know, final or the next phase, and it would create terrain models of these. 